one of my big fuck it moments was when I was on the Chicago PD set. Um, I got I got an amazing opportunity, and I didn't realize how amazing the opportunity was until I got there. Unfortunately, I never I never shadowed a director before, so I didn't understand the process, and I was kind of dropped into the fire without knowing. Uh, the girl who who pulled some favors to get me here actually gave me the wrong call time. And by her giving me the wrong call time, the executive producer thought I was like a clown. And it just was a snowball effect. And this was like, this is a tremendous opportunity because it's, it's, it's separate than doing a music video or even doing an independent film. It's, it's, it's basically corporate world. TV is like corporate uh, creativity. It's a lot of money. It's, it's, it's a lot of millions of dollars on the line from who's directing the episode. So it's very political. Uh, my fuck it moment um, was when I realized I couldn't recover that first impression. I made a, a, a negative impression and he grilled me. He kind of asked me, I ain't gonna say his name, but he grilled me like, you know, I, I told him what happened. I'm like, she gave me the wrong time. And he was like, who is she? And so I ain't snitch on her. I was like, you know what? Damn, she gave me this opportunity and I might end up losing her, her job. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I fell on the sword. So that was one of my biggest fuck it moments. Now I'm a soldier, man, with so much shit going on. So I was, um, I'm, I, I live in Atlanta and I got the opportunity to come up here to the shot to do it. So I had to keep traveling back and forth between Atlanta to here to do the, to do the shadowing process. And the shadowing process takes three weeks. You're basically following a director around. Uh, shout out to the director too, um, Nick Gomez. He's a prolific TV director. Uh, he actually shot New Jersey Drive back in the day. You're following the director around you're meeting with all the different crew members and you're learning what it would be to be a director. You're learning exactly what it would be like to shoot a network TV show. Um, so it's very intense. What I said to myself is, okay, I pretty much lost my shot at actually directing this particular TV episode in this particular setting because of that fumble early on. It was a real bad time because the day that I arrived, I found out that my aunt uh, she was battling cancer, but she found out that um, treatment wouldn't solve the problem. Like they basically told her, we're gonna put you on hospice. You got X amount of days to live and we have nothing else for you. And this is the first day I get here. And so I'm crying with her at night, whole family coming over. We just in a state of shock. And then that next morning I have to get up and go on the set and you know, learn or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I'm battling that in the back of my mind too. But it was just one of those moments that was kind of like, okay, I done sacrificed enough just to get here. And most people don't even get to this point. Do I just go home and just say, fuck it in that way? Or do I say, fuck winning at this particular thing? I ain't gonna get the job, but let me get all the experience that I could possibly get. And so I wrote it out. I came up here for three weeks straight, flew back and forth on the weekends and knocked it out. So I did the whole shadow thing, never got a call back, but I know what it's like to direct a network TV show. So the next opportunity when it comes, I'm gonna kill that shit.